So we are ha having with us uh, Swapnal, who has just cleared UPSC this year from Meghale. It's a proud moment for uh, all of us, and we look forward uh, for more of you clearing this exam, and I'm sure he's going to inspire many more. So let's start with the Q&A. Uh, this is about him and how he has cleared this exam, and hope he can share some anecdotes for you all to learn uh, in the process. So uh, Swapnal, let's start with the hearing uh, about you, your introduction in your own words. Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here amid so many distinguished people. And uh, about my introduction, well, I'm born and brought up here in Shillong. I was educated at St. Edmunds. Uh, I went uh, on to complete my high secondary education from army school. And then I went to Delhi for my undergraduate studies. And then, of course, I started preparing for this examination. And uh, well, with some luck, I was able to crack it this year. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. What do you do in your free time? What you, how you approach life? Just a little bit, because it's important to know a person before you, you know, hear to his thoughts and all, so that you connect well. And I'm sure you all will be interested to know uh, that, like, you know, what he's like, what qualities he has. So please share some more. I think that was too brief. Well, it is poor form to talk about oneself, but <laughs> if I were to talk about myself, I think the key takeaway would be I like to live life half an hour by half an hour. So uh, not think too much into the future. Uh, live life half an hour and soak in the moments. Uh, I think uh, it's very important, which I have learned the last few years, uh, to slow down and live life a little slower. Uh, and that lets you live life to the fullest. And that's been my mantra with whatever I've done. Uh, in my free time, of course, uh, I like reading. I like uh, going out for long walks, talking with people. Uh, that's about it. Pretty ordinary, I would say. Uh, wonderful. Um, half an hour by half an hour. I think that's a wonderful approach to, towards life. And uh, so next, we all, I'm sure we all want to know that, uh, why did you choose to go for civil service? What motivated you? Well, uh, I would have to give you a very underwhelming answer because uh, I joined uh, University of Delhi, the physics program there, uh, with the intention of becoming a researcher in physics. But then, of course, uh, with some maturity, it was a stroke of luck as well. Um, I had just finished my lab work one particular day in my second year, and a friend of mine who had already decided to prepare for this examination, he came along and he pulled me by the arm and said, oh, there's a seminar on the civil service examination. Would you like to attend with me? And I, to be very frank, I was least interested because uh, that had never occurred. It had never occurred to me that uh, it was even an option because I was really fixated on what I had come to Delhi to do. But then, uh, you know, that's that's about being in the moment, that I, which I talked about half an hour to half an hour. 20 minutes at that seminar, I was late for the seminar. I had reached towards the end. But even then, that changed my life. Uh, that seminar was held by uh, Mrs. Ira Single, uh, 2013 UPSC topper, I believe. Um, She's my batchmate, 2015 batch. I see, so you're acquainted with her. A wonderful officer, and uh, her talk really uh, changed my perspective. And of course, uh, that was the day with some uh, level of thinking, consultations. I took my time and then I decided that, okay, this is what I would like to do. And I didn't look back after that. Great. So he was uh, motivated by uh, one talk by, in fact, she was she's my batchmate. She's, she was a topper of the 2015 batch. So I'm sure after his talk today, you will also feel motivated. And in, you know, after some years, we'll have you seated here. Uh, maybe, I don't know whether I will be here to interview you or somebody else will do that. But let's hope you do that in the future. So in brief, uh, we want to also, they would want to know what was your preparation strategy and what efforts did you put in for this UPSC? Well, uh, I had a pretty ordinary strategy. It was about, uh, well, those who are in the know would know that you have some things. The basic recipe is the same, but just like any other cook, everyone has their own style of doing things. Um, so you look at the syllabus, you find out what you have to read. There is a fair bit of reading to do and a uh, fair bit of absorption of information. And uh, I think it's just consistency and also uh, to be consistent and also to be balanced. It's not about doing things in their extremes. Uh, and to maintain some modicum of fun also in your life, to pursue your hobbies. You've got a life to lead. You may have responsibilities at home, chores to do. Don't close yourself off. I think uh, doing it in a balanced way helps. Because 
most of the time this process runs into a few years for many people and it's important to stay balanced, to stay resilient and also uh, uh, we had this discussion prior to this one about mental health. Uh, it's important, you know, people are coming out nowadays with their issues. Uh, in my case, I, there was simply no time to think about mental health but if you do face these issues, it's important to have someone to speak to. And I think that, uh, that works in the long run. And even if you don't make it through the examination, uh, your state of mind uh, remains uh, in such a way that you can pursue something different. Because that will be challenging as well. There's no, there are no free lunches and you have to work hard to get to wherever you want to get to. So uh, did you do any coaching? Because this is one common question I'm sure you all have. And when I do a lot of career counseling workshops, this is one common question. Can it be done? Without coaching, can it be done in self-preparation mode? Like, you know, please tell them more about this. Sure. So uh, I had taken modules uh, from a coaching institute. Uh, so I had not attended physical classes, but then I had taken modules. And these modules had helped me. But uh, post-pandemic, I think uh, things have really changed. And uh, I know many people who have cleared the exam with no coaching at all, uh, with the bare minimum of resources. Uh, ultimately, it depends upon you if you find it easy to uh, do it without uh, taking resort to coaching, uh, so be it. It's your decision, but take an informed decision and uh, take the right decision. So here you see that it can be definitely be done and he himself is an example of that. I myself, uh, I have seen so many uh, aspirants clear this exam without any coaching. Now you are in an era of digital uh, you know, governance and digital you know, uh, connectivity. Everything is available on YouTube, on so many other platforms for you to use. So it is absolutely, if you have that doubt that you cannot join coaching, it's like too expensive and all. So he's a live example that how you can study on your own and you can clear this exam. If now, I may, if I may yeah, add, so please. I think the bottom line is you do whatever it takes for you to clear this examination. You don't have to look at anybody else. If you need coaching, so be it. If you, if you don't have the resources, so be it. Use whatever resources you have, beg, borrow, steal, but get the job done. Right, wonderful. So, uh, we also uh, want you to answer this. What is success for you? How does it feel to succeed? Well, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's nice that you asked me. I was thinking about this for a long time. And uh, in fact, uh, I had a Eureka moment this morning while arriving here, looking at all these rank holders here for whom we've gathered here today. I think success isn't really about, it isn't the culmination of one big effort. Uh, success is the final crescendo of many small things done right, many small successes. For example, you may have made your bed in the morning or you may have uh, arranged your study area in such a way that it was conducive to you concentrating better or perhaps you had a nice conversation with a friend that lessened the load and allowed you to concentrate on your work. These are all small successes and you leverage on small successes and make it to the big success. I think I look at success in that way. Right, wonderfully put. I think we often confuse success and as one watershed moment, moment in life that, okay, we have cleared, th that is success. But behind that success, there's so many small, small steps, as he said. So I'm sure you are, you are motivated now to take these small, small steps from today and uh, whatever you want to do in life, you know, it need not be UPSC. The idea is to move towards your goals. So uh, now a message to the students and youth of Meghalaya. I would say be cheerful first of all. Uh, life is too short to be serious, be sincere. Uh, build a good team uh, like we had Ashish and Giovanni here, wonderfully talented artists. They found uh, the Aspire program and that's what catapulted them to this stage. And I'm sure they will leverage on this success for future successes. Build a good team and look for mentors, find people who can help you identify your talents, whatever they may be. We've seen so many examples here this afternoon. And uh, don't worry so much. I think things will fall into place when you have the little things done right. Lastly, uh, regarding career counseling and uh, you know, making a choice in their career, often they uh, find it very difficult, children, you know, to figure it out what they really want. So how should they go about it? Well, again, I would say feedback is very important. You have a lot of resources these days and uh, you have to also trust your heart. I mean, it has to be your decision what you do ultimately in life. You have to own that decision. You have to take full responsibility for it. It can't be anybody else's decision because that will make you resentful if you don't succeed. If it's your own decision, you own it completely. If you fail, so what? 
you can make another decision after that. Wonderful. So any last words you want to say before we close? I hope you are very hungry because I am and we'll move on to lunch quickly. I won't so keep you waiting. Thank you. Thank you, Supnal. So it was wonderful uh, having a conversation with him. We wish him all the best. And the, those claps are a uh, cue for us to move so that everyone can, you know, go for their lunch. Thank you so much for uh, being a wonderful listeners. We are always there. Uh, in fact, uh, it's always good to, you know, if you have any doubts about the service you want to join or you, about the career you want to join, please go to those people who are there. Please talk to them. I'm sure everyone will be happy to share their experiences and you'll get to know, you know, how to reach there and what are the, uh, what are basically, you know, how to approach for it. So, uh, again, uh, congratulations to him. We are proud of you. Uh, from the state of Meghalaya and I wish all the students present here that whatever you choose today uh, you move towards that you give your best and I'm sure you'll be uh, you know achieving it so thank you